Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a pen that is a recent addition to the Lamy collection. And this pen was provided for review by Fontoplumo, which is a store in the Netherlands. And if you want to check their website, here it is, fontoplumo.nl. So, thank you Fontoplumo and Frank for sending these and some other pens for review and let's start. This pen comes, it is a Lamy Safari, so it comes inside this cardboard box with an elastic that keeps it in place. You open it and you have the pen and the pen comes with a blue ink cartridge included. The color of this pen is the Lamy Safari inside the Mango collection, which is the, co the candy collection, which is the collection for this year. This is the color Mango. One thing that I need to say is that Lamy released a Mango Yellow ink. And this is something that I struggle a little bit since the beginning with the Lamy Special Editions, is why they put regular blue this one is a little warped. They put regular blue ink cartridges with their pens. If they have a special edition color, they could put the yellow color. It would be a better match. I know people that want to write want to write with blue, not with yellow, but it would be a nice addition, and I believe that some people would be interested and would start trying new colors and eventually buy more from them. But that's it. So, this is the, the pen. It has the Lamy Safari shape, as you already know. You have here the Lamy Safari Candy Aquamarine that I already reviewed. And also the Lamy Safari Candy Violet. I think this is a collection with nice, vibrant colors. All of them have matte finish and have the metal accents with the same color as the rest of the pen, which is quite nice. So, overall about the, the shape of the pen, this is a regular Lamy Safari pen in terms of shape, so you can check many other videos that I already made, but let's just go for a, a quick uh, overview. It has a cylindrical cap, with the top of the cap being made of plastic, and it has a cross hatched inside like if it was uh, a head of a screw. Then it has a metal clip which is quite strong and it has on the side it makes this kind of a slope and when you see it on your front it looks like a U-shaped uh, clip. The barrel is not as cylindrical because it has two flat, two flat surfaces. So it would be cylindrical, but then it is flat on both on both sides. The end of the pen has that um, middle thing that says Germany, and on the end of the barrel it says Lamy there. It has an ink window that allows you to see the ink inside but it is just a cutout on the barrel so there is nothing to protect it and therefore you cannot um, eyedropper this pen because this is open and the ink would come out. Then you have the pen. This part usually is black in most pens in this collection it is the same color as the rest of the pen. The finish is matte and it, it's not that you can feel it really a texture but it has some. I don't know if I can show it to you. I think you can see the matte surface. It, it, it is very nice. About the section it has that roughly triangular shaped section, which some people love, some people hate. I'm more on the ones that I would not say, but, uh, say hate, but I don't really like it much. And it has a regular steel nib. This is a fine nib. 
I'm struggling to show it to you. There you can see it has F, Lamy, reader hole, and very simple, the typical shaped Lamy nib. These nibs can be easily removed and exchanged between pens. You just have to pull it out and replace with another. So you can have lots of different uh, sized uh, nibs and you can exchange. One thing that I would find with that would be very nice was that in this color the nib would be yellow as the same color of the pen, then it would be completely of the same color. That is an interesting thing, I would love to see it, I don't know if it is possible to do in a technological way. Then we open it and we have an ink cartridge, this one is almost empty. I hope this is enough for the review, and that's it. It takes inside the proprietary Lamy cartridges or converters, or you can even fit the Parker cartr cartridges there, because the opening is the same. About, just a final remark, if you put the, the barrel, this is a two-way screw there to put the barrel, so you can have the Lamy up, aligned with the clip, or it will be on the opposite side. There is no intermediate uh, positions. So, this is the color. I showed it to you next to other colors of this ear. Then I'll just make some more comparisons with other pens because I find it always to be interesting. And first, I have here Another Lamy, this is an older one, an older version, with a black clip and a black nib and the black uh, ring there and the black top. And I also have here the regular edition of the yellow one, which is a cooler one. It has black ring, black top, but a chrome clip and a still natural colored nib. So this is just for color comparison with other Lamis. For comparison with other pens, I have here some more. Just for you to see the, the kind of color of this one that is not so easy to, to show. So, I have here some other pens. This is also German, this is the Mont Blanc Carrera, which is just a little bit more, a little bit darker, and this is called orange, so it is supposed to be orange, so this is really on the middle between yellow and orange. I also have here the Leonardo Officina Italiana Messenger Orange, Then I want to show you the Caveco student, yellow, much lighter tone of yellow. Another, this one is Italian, but all the others are German, and another German pen. This is the Super 5 Deli, also, uh, I think this color is quite similar to the Lamy, just a little bit darker. And we go to a international pen, some are English, some are French, some are American, a Parker Centennial Dufold Citrine Check, which has some darker little squares and some are lighter. Then we go to the Pilot, and this is a mustard color, very interesting, Pilot Capless uh, e Mustard. Then we go to the Parker 51. Is there a Parker 51 yellow? Officially no, but this is a, an Arial Kulok adaptation, parts made by Arial Kulok, and this is a yellow one, which is very, very nice. And then we go to the Pelican, Pelicano Junior, which has a nice, interesting color. And one more German pen, the Hotring Surf, which is also a little lighter. 
and just to end this list, another Parker, this is the Parker Jotter, the modern one, the yellow version, and also a Schiffer pen, this is a calligraphy pen, the viewpoint that is also a little bit lighter. So this is just for some color comparison because my viewers told me this is one of the most interesting things that I can do in the channel is to compare colors of the pens. Now let's go to the performance of the pen. And here we are with our pen and paper and this is the how it looks against the white background. I will uncap and write with it. You can post this pen, but in my opinion it gets too long. I back heavy, as you see, it falls down my of my hand, and it is not my kind of favorite pen to post, so I will not post it. The cap will be there side. Or if I'm afraid to lose it, I will keep it in my hand but not post this pen because it is too long. And let's see the performance. So, this is the Lamy Safari candy. The color is called Mango. And this is the 2020 Special Edition. The ink I have inside the pen is a discontinued ink, which is the Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. I've showed you this pen in some, this ink in some reviews, and it does not look great on camera. The color is not really accurate, but this is a bright and nice orange, but it doesn't look like that. And the paper that I'm using is the usual Rodia, you see there, dot pad, the A5 size. And let's see the pen performing. So, about these swirls. You can see that the pen performs well. It doesn't skip. It has a good line on paper. So this is something good. About the smoothness of the nib, I find this nib quite smooth, with very small feedback. Opposite what happened in the review that I made of the Aquamarine one. I find that this uh, this one is much nicer on the paper. Much more well tuned this nib. And it is also much wetter than that one. I find there are big variations between Lamy nibs, the same kind of nib. They are both fine nibs. The amount of ink that this pen puts on paper is quite good, much more than you had on that one. And this allows for quite a wet writing experience, which is nice. It depends on your preferences. About the, the reverse writing, this is something that most people, or some people like. I don't find it interesting. You can do it. It has some feedback, not scratchy, but almost, and it writes It writes a little finer, but it is not comfortable to hold the pen like that because it has a triangular grip to guide your fingers, so it is completely wrong to write with it on the upside down uh, side. Now, about line variation, this is something that we can try to find on Lamy's. If you press it harder, it really puts more ink on paper, as you saw here on the bottom half, but it doesn't really give that much line variation. This is a regular line variation, this is pressing quite hard, so you will not have that big difference of the line width, and you may risk ruining your nib, so I wouldn't advise you to do that kind of thing. So, 
overall this is a very good pen I much more I'm much more happy with this nib than with the one that I found in this pen and so this may need some adjustment to be really good and I find this to be this one is good this one is the kind of nib that I expect from a Lamy Safari this is an inexpensive pen at least for fountain pen standards I, I, I think and this pen costs around 21 euros so it, it means that it is a good nib for the price of the pen in that one I don't feel the same so you can expect some variation of the nibs but you can also buy the nib separately quite inexpensively and if you I need I think you need to get a little bit lucky with the pen that you get because I'm finding a lot of quality control uh, variation on the nibs of Lamy Safari pens so this is all that I had to show you I hope you enjoyed this review I have to thank you to Fontoplumo for sending me the set of the three pens and I have to thank you all for watching the video I hope you liked it if you did please don't forget to like the video and subscribe just comment if you if you want to make some comments and I've showed you a lot of yellow pens to go with this one if you see some pen that you'd like to see a specific review that I didn't make yet please let me know and I may put that on the top of the list of pens to be reviewed so to get some more interaction with you and you can feel that you participate more on my channel so I will see you soon in another video. Bye.